Oh, oh, sorry. Hi, welcome back to the Daily Grind. And today we are doing a, a woven good. It's actually a shag. We don't see much of that anymore, but we're working up to vinyl plank here and vinyl plank here. And this is what we're dealing with. Just a square 16 by 16 room. No, uh, nothing dramatic, just a square room. It is a woven shag with a 39 and a half by 39 and a half half drop pattern match. So let's get busy. Okay, we got our tack strip and padded. We are using a quarter inch felt pad. And I don't necessarily like uh, blah, 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 taping seams on this stuff, but I didn't have any spray adhesive with me. Dadgummit, I've been doing commercial work for three weeks. And I wasn't too sure about what I was on the van. But anyway, uh, because I didn't have any spray adhesive on the van, I was like, hmm, what am I gonna do around the edges? And ta-ta, thought about that. So, put me a strip of bugger tape in front of the Z bar, same thing over here. And then about a foot piece right here, another foot piece over here. Just every couple feet, maybe a foot and a half, two feet, I put us about a foot and a half or two foot strip all the way around the perimeter. So while it's not secured everywhere, uh, it is secured almost everywhere. See, you can see how much space I got in between there. There's about one, about a foot there. And from the end, you can see right here to right there. So I got it enough to where it's not going to be moving anyway. While we stretch the carpet, and when I get that other big piece in here, I'm not going to roll this one out, but you can kind of see what we got going on here. Shags, look at it. Come on, there we go. Woven, got the big ribs on the back. Woven shag. And we are using the inch and a half uh, architectural tax strip. And you might say, wow, that's a big gap on the edge. Well, what I did, I laid me a baseboard around as I nailed. Right there, Lucas has got those two pieces. I use these for spacers. That's the baseboard. It's what they're using for baseboard. See right there. And uh, that's how I judged how far to put it out. And it will end up just like that, like it's supposed to be right there, is how it'll be all the way around. So, cock a doodle doodle that way, whenever somebody goes to tear that up, the carpet, they don't have to rip everything off the walls and everything just to get it up because the tack strip is under the baseboard. Don't you just hate that when the tack strip is under the baseboard? I know you do. saying earlier this was a square 16 by 16 room um, people all the time literally a lot ask does it pay to get certified absolutely it does I've stressed that and stressed it and stressed it yeah this is a woven good I would not be able to do this had I not went to NFIC uh, and took the training to learn how to deal with this stuff. You always got to continue in your education. Products are always changing. There's always, always things that you can learn. You don't never think that oh, I'm good enough. I can, I can go out and do whatever. There's always things to learn. And yes, it absolutely pays off, okay? Again, I would not even know how to deal with these woven goods had I not went right there, nfic.org, if I ain't mistaken, and check this out. Let me show you something right here. This is to answer your question, okay? This work order is for this one room right here, okay? 13.2 by 35.6. No head seams, got my fill in one piece. 16 by 16 room, okay? That's no tear up. This was a brand new house, okay, brand new build. $839 for a square 
not even a closet, just a square 16 by 16 room. Does it pay off to go get your classes? Absolutely, I paid I paid a thousand bucks to go uh, take these classes. The NFIC, I think it has gone up now a little bit, but whatever it is, it was a thousand bucks to go do that and I passed it and got certified. Now, uh, you might say, oh, well, stores won't ever pay that. Contrary, did you see that ticket? This is a job subbed out from the carpet store that I work for that I sub from. So yes, he sees value in classes. You go get certified and let your people know how much of a difference it makes and start showing them that you learned something and that you're gonna put that to work on their jobs. They're gonna be more than happy to pay you more because they're not gonna to have to worry about is this gonna fall apart in six months because it wasn't done properly. Absolutely worth it, okay? NFIC, CFI. Go get certified. So right here's my seam. You can see all of the fibers that get down in there. See these curled over there? Let's see here. There you go. So you see all them right there that's looped under. Watch this. Take my row finder and get down underneath the backing of both of those. And I'll just work. You can see that? just pulls the fibers out from both sides all the way. Okay, and that is how I get it ready for, to put together on this super tall shag. Alrighty, we are done, 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 done. Uh, Toad Luke, I was like, well, I'm going to vacuum this. This is going to be too thick, so I swept it off. Uh, pretty good, I guess. I can still see stuff, but I might not. I, actually, I think I'll sweep it off some more. Hey, Luke, don't take that broom yet. Don't take the broom yet. Uh, anyway. Nah, I burned up my vacuum a while ago just trying. I swept it off a whole lot, and then I just tried to go real fast just to get it to look like that and it didn't even work stupid thing stopped right here before i got two complete passes dag never did it did it did it did anyway uh here we are inch and a half shag with uh woven with a 39 and a half um 39 and a half inch half drop match. Ta-ta. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in to the Daily Grind. Until tomorrow, FBSB's out.